Hey guys, welcome back. Today is time for another top 10 nail polish video. I haven't done one in forever because I just don't know. I just haven't. So today we're going to be doing another top 10 video and today we're doing Butter London. I really enjoy Butter London. I like all of the polishes that I've tried from the brand and these are my top 10 favorite Butter London polishes. So if you guys want to see my picks then just keep watching. I usually buy Butter London at Ulta and my Ulta in store at least does not have a lot if any. So I don't know if they're going to be like online only at Ulta or if they're leaving Ulta haven't investigated further but I kind of am really bummed if they're leaving Ulta because that's, that's where I buy them and I really like the polishes and the makeup that I've tried from Butter London but that's a different video. Anyway these are my top 10. Some of these I'm not sure if they're available still. You can probably find them on Amazon and then Butter London is also on Holt Look fairly often so I know some of these I've seen on Holt Look. These are in no particular order I just kind of try to go in color order a little bit and let's get started. The first one is All Hail the Queen and this is a beige faint micro holographic scattered holographic polish. You really can't see the hollow particles in here very well but it adds enough so that it doesn't just look like a plain beige polish. But it's not an overwhelming holographic effect. It's still a really pretty, dainty looking color and sometimes I want that. This is like my perfect mannequin hands shade as well, <laughs> if my hands were glittery. This is All Hail the Queen and this was Three Coats. They're not in order, but this is like at the top of the list. I love this color. This is It's Vintage and this is a beautiful rust colored cream. I love I call them ugly colors like this because a lot of people don't don't like a rust color or a, you know those kind of ugly murky greens. I love those colors personally and this is definitely a favorite. This is two coats. It has a really great cream formula and I just I just love this color so much. I wear this one a lot in the fall. So that's it's vintage two coats. The next one is Ladybird and I love this red orange color in lip products and nail products. I have the Ladybird lipstick, I have the Ladybird like lip crayon, I have the nail polish. I love this color so much. This one has sort of a jelly like formula. It's not it's not a jelly, but it's not a straight cream. It's it's sort of I guess a crelly is the term. Uh, so this one needs three coats to be completely opaque, but I love this bright red. It's just I love this color. The next one is called Tramp Stamp and this is a, I would call this a Merlot cream. This one needs three coats and this is another color that I just think is perfect for fall. A lot of the Butter London polishes that I have actually are very reminiscent of fall colors to me. I don't really know why that is. But I always reach for these colors more in the fall. Maybe that's why I'm, I didn't plan to do this video in the fall time but it's just sort of working out that way. Anyway, this is another one. Really great formula. Uh, it's a little bit thin, so that's why you need the third coat, but the formula itself is good. So this is a Tramp Stamp. The next one is an oldie, but a goodie. This is called Disco Biscuit, and this is a bright pink with some blue and maybe purple. I think blue and purple micro shimmer in here. This is more of a jelly. This also needs three coats, but it's just a really gorgeous pink. It's bright. It's just a really nice pink. It's a, I like this type of pink. If I'm going to wear pink, I want it to be bright. And then the extra shimmer is always welcome. So that is three coats of Disco Biscuit. And I don't know what that name means, but it makes me laugh. The next is Wallace. And I feel like this is kind of everyone's favorite Butter London. It's such an interesting color. It's, it's a burnished golden bronzy green. And it's just really really rich looking when it's on your nails. This one covers in two coats. At one point, I'm not sure how, but at one point this was in a discard, like a de-stash pile. I don't, I don't, 
I must have been drunk while I was de stashing it. I don't know. Um, I love this color. It looks so multi dimensional on your nails because it's got this, these particles in it that just, oh, look, look at it. It looks like it's glowing. Gorgeous. That is two coats of Wallace. The next one is another one that I reached for a lot in the fall, and this is called Lust or Must. And this is a very, very, very green toned brown. Uh, this is another one that is opaque in two coats. It has a really great formula. It looks brown on your nails, but in the bottle, it's certain lights. You're like, oh, I do see some green in there. But on your nails, it does look brown. I love a brown nail polish. Another thing I like to wear in the fall. And this fits the outfit. The next one is a glitter, and this is called the 444. I probably know what that means, but I don't. I could look it up, but I didn't. And this is a white and silver micro glitter. This one does need, it, it could technically need three coats, but it's so sparkly that you can get away with two. It's very reflective and you're not going to see a lot of the, any um, patches in your nails because this is, you know, kind of, at least it's kind of my skin tone looks like an extension of my fingers and it's so shimmery that you can kind of get away with two especially if you sponge on the second coat which I never do because I'm super lazy so that is two coats of the 444 next one is another glitter and this is the gold and white and there's some tiny tiny orange or red I can't quite tell glitters in here this is called West End Wonderland this is an older one so it's a little bit thicker for me, I think initially this was probably a three coater, but at this point it's covering two. And again, there are some tiny, tiny patches, but you don't notice them on um, when you're looking at your nails because it's so sparkly and reflective. This is a great Christmas polish or fall too with the gold and the red. It's it's really, really pretty. And it is a glitter, so it does take a little more work to remove. And it's not that bad because the glitters are so fine. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a fill line on here right about here. When you have as many nail polishes as I do, that's impressive. The last one is also a glitter and this is called Disco Nap and this is a black and silver packed glitter. It's just like kind of a edgy, funky, rock, rocker, awesome glitter polish and this one covers in two coats. This one does dry pretty textured, so you will need a heavy coat of top coat, if not two coats of top coat, but it's worth it because it's all pretty. So, yeah. That was it. Those are my favorite Butter London nail polishes. Let me know what your favorite colors are from the brand. I didn't have any blues in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave any questions, comments, suggestions, video con I always say video concerns, video requests in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.